Hello and welcome to our new English class. Today we're going to revise family vocab, the genitive and the possessive determiners with the Simpsons. And look, this is the Simpsons family tree. That is, this is their family tree. First of all, let's revise their names. Who are they? What is their first name? Okay, this is Abram. His first name is Abram. This is Maggie. Her first name is Maggie. This is Bart. His first name is Bart. This is Lisa. Her first name is Lisa. This is Homer. His first name is Homer. This is Marge. Her first name is Marge. They are Selma and Patty. And their first names are Patty and Selma. Oh, look! Who can you see? You can see Homer and Marge. What is their relationship? Well, they are husband and wife. That is, they are married. They are a married couple. Marge is Homer's wife. That is, she is his wife. And Homer is Marge's husband. That is, he is her husband. Homer and Marge are the parents of three children. One son and two daughters. Bart, Maggie and Lisa are Homer and Marge's children. That is, they are their children. Let's practice. Look at the picture and the sentence. Look, this is Marge and dot 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 sisters. Okay. Pause the video and complete the sentence with the correct determiner. His, her or their. Look, this is Marge and his, her or or their sisters. This is Marge and her sisters. Play the video again and check your answers. Yeah, her sisters, that's right. Ready, set, go. In this picture, we can see Marge and Homer with Maggie their daughter. Here we can see Homer and his son. In the scene Lisa is at Moe's tavern with her father and here Lisa is having an important conversation with her mother. What is their relationship? Remember, they are siblings. We can see Bart and his two sisters. Here, Lisa is hugging her brother. Now she is with her sister. And here she's dancing with her siblings. This is Abraham Simpson. Abe is Homer's father, so he's Bart, Lisa and Maggie's grandfather. Here Abe is sad because dot 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 grandchildren are leaving with dot 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 parents. Abe is sad because 
his grandchildren are leaving with their parents. In this scene, Abe is with his grandson, while here is looking after his granddaughters. Let's recap. Say hello to my cat. This is Lisa Simpson and her saxophone. Bart is sitting on his skateboard. Look at the bird next to its nest. This is our school. I am your English teacher. The Simpsons are in front of their house. Alors, les déterminants possessifs en anglais, ils précèdent le nom, comme dans my book, her book, et sont invariables. My, mon, ma, mais, your, ton, ta, te, his, son, sa, c'est du moment que c'est à lui, avec un i, comme dans lui. Her, son, sa, c'est du moment que c'est à elle, avec un e, comme dans elle. It's, son, sa, c'est du moment que c'est à un, un objet ou à quelque chose de non humain. Our, notre, nos. Your, votre, vos. Their, leur, leur. Vous remarquerez que your, ton, ta, te, et your, votre, vos, c'est exactement le même, puisque je vous rappelle qu'en anglais, il n'y a pas de différence entre le tu et le vous. Alors, contrairement au français, qui choisit le déterminant possessif en fonction du genre grammatical du nom possédé, comme dans son fils ou sa fille, l'anglais choisit le déterminant possessif en fonction du possesseur. Mon livre, c'est « my book »,« ma voiture », c'est « my car », mes amis, c'est « my friend ». Si c'est « à moi », c'est « my », plus un nom. Si c'est « à toi » ou « à vous », c'est « your », plus un nom, etc. etc. Et voilà, c'est fini pour aujourd'hui. Bye bye